what's good my loves welcome back to my channel so we are getting right into this video i picked up some boneless salted cusk fish or if you see in the pack you'll see as codfish so here i was just showing you guys how much salt was actually on the fish and what i do is run it under some cool water for about a minute just to get off as much salt as possible i rather wash off too much salt and soak it too long than to underdo it because you can add in more salt if you take out too much but if you are left with too much salt without prepping it properly, then your entire dish will be ruined. So here really begins the process. So I'm just putting in a bowl with some cool water. And what I do is let the saltfish soak. And I do this over a period of like two to three hours. And I change the water every 45 minutes to an hour just to make sure it's not sitting in salty water. And you can soak it overnight, but I personally don't do that. I like to do it on days when I have time. Another thing is, depending on how much salt was actually on your saltfish, you might need to rinse it a bit longer and leave it to soak a bit longer. But generally, I don't go over three, three and a half hours when it comes to soaking my saltfish. So here I'm just prepping the vegetables about 10 minutes before the soaking process is finished. And I'm using green onions, a yellow onion, red bell pepper, scotch bonnet, thyme, and tomato i would suggest using aroma tomato but i didn't have room in my fridge also feel free to use different color bell peppers i just picked up what the store had and all they had was red so i'm just gonna dice up the vegetables and you'll see how small i do them it might look like a lot of vegetables and i thought it was too much but honestly after it cooked down it basically turned into nothing so you can put as much or as little vegetables as you like So after soaking for about three hours, this is what it looks like. And here I just rinse them off one last time. And what you're gonna do is drop it in a pot of very hot boiling water with nothing added in it. You don't need any salt because the fish still has some salt to it. So what I do is I put it in the pot of hot water to boil for about 20 minutes. And this is where we actually cook the fish. And I feel like 20 minutes is enough because you're actually gonna like leave it for like another five to 10 with the peppers to cook. So 20 minutes is how much I boil my saltfish for. Okay, so now we're about to make some coconut dumplings. I don't quite have a recipe because I do eyeball stuff like dumpling. And when I figure out a recipe, I'll definitely show you guys. I started off with some all-purpose flour, some sweetened coconut flakes. If you have the fresh coconut, definitely go ahead and do that. But I used some sweetened coconut flakes to avoid having to add sugar to my dumpling. Then I'm just going to go in with like a quarter teaspoon of salt, a pinch of nutmeg and cinnamon, and I'm going to use coconut milk as my base, not water this time around. So you'll see me making the dough and the dough will be a bit sticky upon initial mixing. So when you see it torn out like that, just add as much flour until it becomes like this very rounded ball not too sticky and not too dense from the flour but basically a little bit like a johnny cake dough is how you want it to be if you haven't seen that recipe i'll leave it linked on the screen but you want the dough to be that consistency where it's not too soft but it's not too hard that when you boil it is very dense you just want like a very nice soft playable dough I have finished shaping my dumplings but I typically do them in discs and I try not to do them too thick. I put them in a pot of boiling hot water with about a teaspoon of salt and I let those boil for about 15 minutes. If I make them very thick then I do it for a little bit longer just to let the flour cook but on average I do fairly thin sized dumplings and I leave it for just about 15 minutes. We are almost finished with this recipe so to a hot pan I'm just going to add a third a cup of butter. This I use a country crop vegetable spread. I'll leave a picture on the screen, but this is what I consider butter most times. So I just use a third a cup of this and I let it melt and start to sizzle just a little bit before I go ahead and throw in the vegetables. So this is what you want the butter to look like. And then I'm just gonna dump in all the vegetables in the pot and start to cook it. So when I dump them in, I store them for about 30 to 45 seconds. And after that, I just cover the pot for about three to four minutes on medium low heat 
closer to low than medium though and I just do this to let it sweat a little bit and just to get the onions to like this translucent color. After about 3 minutes this is what the peppers and onions look like and if you find that your pan is dry just add about a tablespoon more of the butter. Nothing more than that though because you don't want your food to be too oily because a lot of the butter oil is resolved after you finish cooking it. So this is what the salt fish looks like after it's been boiled and cooked. So I just break it up in the pot with a wooden spoon or thongs or whatever you have to break it up. And I just toss it around in the peppers just for it to get coated. Then you see me take out the scotch bonnet because I didn't want it to boil. So, but I will be adding more pepper to the mix. So what you want to do is add some onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and about a tablespoon to two of ketchup. And ketchup is just to give it a little bit of color and some more flavor. And here's where you want to taste your salt fish and see if you boil away too much salt. So if you did take out too much salt, you can add a little bit of garlic salt just to re-add some. But I think you should be fine once you follow the method that I use. And after this, I honestly just let it sit for about another 3 minutes on low heat and I cover it. And basically this is the recipe for salt fish. And the scotch bonnet pepper that I use is the Jamaican Walker brand. You'll see me put it on the screen. But I add just a couple drops more because I do like a bit of spice in my salt fish. And here we have it guys, like look at how perfect this plate looks. I paired this with some pumpkin rice that barely have in pumpkin, some avocado slices and boiled ripe plantain. Like the coconut dumplings were 10 out of 10, the saltfish 10,000 out of 10. But that is all I have for you guys in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my recipe. Let me know down below if you want me to try any other recipes. And thank you so much for staying tuned. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Official day, I'm your ticket fight and I'm willing to pay. Fly in from distance away. Right. My eye just changed.